point where I think he should be is not covered in uh, trees. There should be a big old clearing. Alright, we're gonna hunker down for a second. Drink some water. And eat some food. I don't know why, but that noise kind of irritates me. I mean, I guess we never actually hear what people sound like eating up close and personal. And maybe having it over my... Uh, having the, like, the big old over-the-ear headphones is just, like, amplifying it. But it's kind of disgusting. Do I have a knife? No, just a hatchet. All right. That must have been another game. Another game I found a knife, and uh, I found matches. So I could have, if I had found a weapon of any sort, killed animals and eaten them, but because you can cook them, but uh, I didn't. I think I ended up just getting murdered, not by another player, just because I was stupid. Actually happens a lot, where I'm just like, eh, don't worry about it, I, I got this. And I just end up getting killed. Alright, you know what? Because we're lost, um, there's no point in us not following a trail. I don't know why I stopped. So, we're going to follow this. I don't know where it leads, but, uh, I don't know, for all we know, it could lead to treasure. Hmm, actually, nope, I take that back. I thought I might have been able to say, actually, I think I actually know where this goes, but looking around, I'm like, nope, that doesn't look at all like what the map looks like. It was so nice to be able to figure out where I was when I when we started. Because then I had a plan of attack and I knew where to go. But, um... And it's a lot more fun that way. I mean, this, is, this game is still a whole lot of fun. And just the survival aspect of, in and of itself is really, really cool. And it act I think this is the most accurate I've ever seen a zombie apocalypse get betrayed. But... For, for Trade. There we go. This was not betrayed because I don't even know how that would happen. But whatever. Um, but what was it talking about? Oh yeah, I'm getting lost. Um, like even though it's fun, like it's a lot more fun when you know where you are because you can plan things out and do stuff like that. It's uh, it's still pretty fun just to sort of wander because you just realize how big this world is and you. And as you're exploring, you realize, oh, I need to go try to find some civilization because I need X, Y, and Z to keep playing or to survive. Or, uh, does my blood regenerate? It has to, because that got, actually, I think that went up to 200. Maybe it regenerates every time you eat and drink. Speaking of which. Nope, there was no soda can. Okay. Or maybe there was, and I just left it, in which case I feel like an idiot. Oh well. That's so many miles back the other way that I don't care anymore. The another thing I really like about this game is sort of the ambience of it in of itself. With the music playing, it's not that cool, but... Oh, that's big. Um... Uh, hold on, pause that thought. I just want to show people. Look, pig. Doesn't go anywhere. Just sort of stands there waiting to get killed. And if I had the stuff, I would probably kill it and eat, and eat the food. But I don't, because you need matches, wood, which is why I have the hatchet, um, and shoot.
Alright, come on. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know where you... Oh, God, shoot. I don't know what that message was. Oh shoot, losing connection. Oh shoot. Guys, if I lose connection, I'm very sorry. I'm kind of terrified now. Because that's two zomb zombies out of three drops. That still means that they're friends. He's out for vengeance, and I don't know which way he went. Maybe he ran himself off the edge and died. That actually would be incredibly helpful. Oh, no, there he is. Time for some... Patriot action. Or the Patriot action. You know, that scene in the Patriot where the kids are hiding up in the woods and they're sniping all the red coats as they're, as, uh, oh, what's his name? Shoot. I don't remember the actor's name. That's really annoying. But, uh, the guy just runs around and acts completely psycho. Gotta throw them off the trail. All right. How decent was that shot? I don't know why they be defending this place. There's nothing here. But there's definitely no way I was going to get past without them seeing me. So. I don't know why they have the hide bodies thing. I guess m maybe it's for, it's in case, like, you're traveling with uh, maybe a group of people. Or you think maybe that there's someone close by, so you hide the bodies so they don't know. Shoot. Alright, when in doubt, get the higher ground. That is, another, that is a good rule of thumb. Write that down, everyone. Higher ground means better vantage point, which means better chance to see the zombies before they see you. Oh, shoot. We're going to wide. I thought I was. Though I may have some idea now. One second, just gonna look at the surroundings. And it sort of goes like that. I think I may have figured out where we are. We are north. Uh, Pusta, which means that the coast is that way. That's actually excellent. So, for now, I'm going to end it here. Lay down. Uh, actually, this is a terrible spot to lay down. Um, oh, God, especially with uh, Monkey Brain over there. Oh, my God, a tent. Take that? Well, 
Anyway, that probably means there's a person that spawned nearby. So we're gonna go hang up by these rocks. Because I have a plan now. Because, uh, a little bit to the east of Pusta is a high value barn. So, our plan of attack. Alright, hope you guys had fun, um, and I hope you'll come back next time. Thank you, and good night.